The Northwestern State men and the Oral Roberts women are celebrating their championship victories with tickets to the big dance. With the conference tourneys now behind us and the NCAA bracket set, let's take a look at what's to come in Southland Hoops. I'm Anna Chalker and you're watching the Southland Spotlight. Daquan Hicks began the celebration for the Demons. With two seconds left on the clock, Hicks cut in front of Stephen F. Austin guard Antonio Bostich, intercepted the pass, then threw the ball in the air to run out the clock. A 68-66 championship win over the Lumberjacks. Hicks finished with 13 points, while the tournament MVP Shamir Davis had 19 points. Both were named to the Southland All-Tournament team. I did this for you, I love you. With the win, Northwestern State drew a number 14 seed in the NCAA Tournament South Region and will play the number 3 seed Florida in the second round. This will be Northwestern's third trip to the Big Dance and head coach Mike McConaughey talks about what it means for his team. It's great to have the opportunity to go to play in the NCAA Tournament. We're just excited about that. Uh, 50th year anniversary of Southland Conference, 75th year of the NCAA Tournament. 100th year of in, in Northwestern State University basketball. So to be able to go play in the NCAA tournament this year is a special thing. Northwestern State versus Florida is set for Friday at the Frank Irwin Center in Austin, Texas. Tip-off is set for 6.27 p.m. Central and will be televised on True TV. The winner will advance to a third round game on Sunday against the winner between number six UCLA and number 11 Minnesota. Oral Roberts earned an automatic bid to the NCAA Women's Tournament after winning the Southland Tourney last week in Katy, Texas. The Golden Eagles knocked off defending champion McNeese State in the semifinal round 79-66 and earned an automatic bid to the Big Dance with the 72-66 victory over Sam Houston State in the title game. ORU senior guard Kevy Looper scored a game-high 26 points to earn tournament MVP honors, while fellow senior J.C. Bigham scored 17 points in both games to earn a spot on the all-tournament team. With the championship victory, Oral Roberts drew the number 15 seed and will face two-seed Tennessee on Saturday in the first round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. ORU head coach Misty Cousin talks about facing the Lady Vols. Women's basketball became solidified Absolutely. in the public eye in Knoxville, Tennessee. You know, and so I'm so excited that our players get to experience that. It's something they're going to get to tell their kids about someday. Mm -hmm. I played there. I was a part of that. So I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. It could have gone a lot of different ways today. And um, I'm, I'm really excited to see Tennessee in the first round. Tip-off is scheduled for Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central at Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee. And will be televised on ESPN2. The winner will face either 7-seed Syracuse or 10-seed Creighton in Monday's second round. Several other Southland men and women's basketball teams have accepted invitation to the postseason, making it seven Southland teams playing in national tournaments. For the men, Stephen F. Austin drew a number five seed and an automatic berth to the NIT. Sam Houston State accepted the Southland's automatic bid for the WNIT. SFA faced the Cardinals in the opening round of the NIT Tuesday night, and Stanford put an end to one of the most historic seasons in Stephen F. Austin basketball history. The final score, 58-57. to The Lumberjacks closed out the season with the most wins by an SFA squad since the 1971-72 season. The Oral Roberts men also continued its season in the College Insider Tournament, opening up play against Texas Arlington on Wednesday night. Sam Houston State earned its WNIT postseason berth by finishing as co-champions in the Southland and advancing to its first Southland Tournament Finals appearance. The Bearcats will play Tulane tonight in New Orleans in the first round of the Women's National Invitational Tournament. Two more Southland women's basketball teams are in the postseason. Lamar and McNeese State were both selected for the 2013 Women's Basketball Invitational. The Lady Cards opened as the number two seed last night in Port Arthur against Presbyterian while McNeese is an eight seed and visits number one Mercer tonight. Let's take a quick look around the rest of Southland Conference action. The Central Arkansas baseball team battled both the Elements and Southern Miss on Sunday afternoon, playing the final game of their three-game set under the clouds and rain. Southern Miss was able to prevent the Bears from getting the sweep, but UCA won the series, taking two of three from the Golden Eagles. 
Southeastern Louisiana also broke out the bats early and often Sunday as the Lions pounded Arkansas Pine Bluffs 17 to 1 to complete the series sweep. And Nichols used 18 hits to beat San Jose State 9 to 1 in the series finale. The Colonels took three of four from the Spartans. Home field advantage proved vital Sunday afternoon as all five home softball teams won in conference series finales. McNeese remains unbeaten in conference play and extended its winning streak to 10 games after defeating Texas A&M Corpus Christi 4-1. The Cowgirls are the only undefeated team after the first two weekends of play. Also, a quick congratulations to Houston Baptist coach Mary Ellen Hall. She picked up her 700th career win as the Huskies cruised by Southeastern 10-2 on Sunday afternoon. And finally, the Southeastern Louisiana women's tennis team is still perfect. The Lions are 4-0 in conference play with wins over McNeese and Lamar in week 9 of the season. Stephen F. Austin is also undefeated in conference play with a big win over Oral Roberts. Stay connected. All year we'll be covering the latest conference news right here on the Southland Digital Network. Get updates everywhere you go by downloading the Southland Conference app for iPhone, Android, and tablet. I'm Hannah Chalker. Thanks for joining me on the Southland Spotlight.